Boxing is no stranger to pre-fight banter and mudslinging between opponents, but comments made by the heavyweights David Hay and Tony Bellew ahead of their fight on Saturday have raised serious concerns. The British Board of Boxing says it's extremely disappointed at the language used after David Hay insulted his opponent's fans and threatened to hospitalise him. Natalie Perks reports. Promoting a big fight goes something like this. Some apparently unstaged fisticuffs. Some unsavoury comments about what you're going to do to your opponent. And endless stunts to drive pay-per-view sales. In the case of Hay v Bellew, it's so far so formulaic. But when does trash talk cross the line into something more sinister? In the build-up to Saturday's fight, David Hayes' rap sheet includes saying he will hospitalise Tony Bellew and cave his skull in. The British Boxing Board of Control has warned him to stop and that he could face sanctions, but tonight he was unrepentant. Is there anything that you've said in the last two weeks that you'd wish to apologise for? No, nothing. Every single thing I've said. At the time I said it, I meant it. Everything I've said in the lead-up to this fight will be forgotten once uh, Tony Bellew is um, stretched out unconscious on the canvas. Those comments, they're very disrespectful, the, you know, the degrading, the dragging me sport in the mud, and they're just, they're, they're such wrong things to say. It. Well, these kind of comments are nothing new, but 2016 was a terrible year for the sport. 25-year-old Mike Town died after his last fight, and two other fighters were placed into induced comas. There's now a sense from inside the sport that those who oversee it must show some leadership. It's not particularly uh, good for the sport. The Boxing Board of Control forever say what they're going to do about it, but they never do nothing about it because they're just bloody toothless. I don't particularly like it, and I saw a lot of people don't like it. It's not going to end. With no belt on the line, it's pure animosity that's driving pay-per-view sales, which in turn lines their pockets. With millions at stake, the small matter of the sport's credibility provides little incentive to stop. Well, today the British Boxing Board of Control's General Secretary told me he's spoken personally to both fighters about the extremely disappointing comments and the board will discuss possible sanctions at a meeting next week. He also added, we are all aware this is a tough sport and there are tragedies. We don't need people acting in this manner. Natalie, thank you.